Hi, welcome back to Informatica Power Center and IACS YouTube channel. Uh, the part of IACS uh, full course tutorial. Uh, today's topic is incremental loading. Incremental loading in every IT sector, uh, in every Informatica project, incremental loading definitely uh, we have to use. Um, while while loading from source to staging area, staging to dimension area, dimension to fact tables. Um, in between that, uh, source to staging area, if you want to load the data. Uh, by using incremental loading only we have to load um, you can use in other methods also but incremental loading uh, means uh, day by day records if you update uh, some inputs are coming uh, day by day into source table and we have to load that uh, records into staging area day by day um, so uh, so from staging area dimension table we, we will implement uh, acid type 1 and acid type 2 uh, that is secondary and here the topic is incremental loading incremental loading we already um, performed few few tasks in uh, informatica power center see uh, this is source source qualifier expression transformation uh, by using uh, set max incremental time set max variable incremental timestamp it's a mapping variable incremental timestamp is a mapping variable by using map, mapping variable max aggregation property and default date we calculated and inserted the records day by day inserted records inserted the records into staging table so in the, in the same same thing we will do in IACS also but little bit different small changes are there uh, in informatica power center mapping variable we use in, in coming to IACS we use in out parameter concept we will use let's see uh, create create mapping change the name m underscore employees incremental load and configure configure source give connection my source connection is my source connection is uh, employees src source connection there are six records i will provide these uh, file this file ddl create employee ss table and put these records no need to uh, put this trigger no need, no need of this just just uh, copy paste these two into your uh, source schema and this is into target schema then you can execute you can practice see here this is my source table which is in source schema uh, src and i want to select that employees src select employees src table configure the target target also target is uh, target schema and as uh, target is uh, this one employees tct target table employees tct target So, same in Informatica Power Center, source, target, in expression we used and we used setmax variable to use set, uh, to use setmax variable before the, we, I created uh, in, in Informatica Power Center, I created ma mapping variable, right? So, same here also I have to create mapping variable, here mapping variable, para, parameter spanner, input parameter, I already explained about that input parameter, nothing but mapping mapping parameter in informatic power center. It stores, the, it stores the value. No, no. Parameter files and all. Without disturbing the mapping flow, we can, by using input parameter without disturbing the mapping flow, you can change the output result. And in out parameters, it, it changes its value through uh, the, while, while running the session. So here just create it src 
src employee id and employee id i want to do uh, in informatica power center i i took date parameter to uh, to perform incremental load here i want to perform by employee id we are already aware of uh, um, uh, date parameter by using date parameter how to implement incremental loading here i want to use employee id to perform in incremental load in iacs i employee id parameter its employee id is just decimal give decimal and default value give zero in default value in in default value what we took in informatica power center its default default value is 19 19 1900101 here same thing it's the its employee id means so uh, for numbers it numbers zero is the least number right so default zero and max property max property I, I assign max property and on success or warning never on success i am taking here because i want on successful runs just copy this yeah parameter as parameter created see here you can uh, parameter created so i have to uh, later what i did in informatica power center so in so in source call fire i given the condition right transaction date greater than incremental day incremental time stone here also employee employee id employee go to source go to source here query option is there in source click on query option configure the filter configure the filter here click on object employee id greater than employee id greater than dollar dollar times uh, parameter in and out parameter right okay in that way we have to configure right employee id parameter so uh, employee id is must greater than this one right now now in in informatica power center source for source call for related completed so in expression transformation i expression transformation i have to um, create a v flag here we i created one v flag and uh, assign the set max variable right same here also create one expression transformation expression transformation go to expression create on output port not on uh, one variable port and vmax vmax id it assigns maximum id vmax employee id vmax employee id it's a decimal that's it okay and configure it configure it here for a v flag what we given uh, set max property set max property right built in functions no no it's a variable set max variable set max variable set max variable property is it compares uh, here whatever the values you given it compares compares both the both the values and assign the maximum value to maximum value to uh, mapping variable or in and output para, uh, para in and output variable right see so already explained this uh, set max property in informatica power center related also it compares both the values and assign the maximum value to Uh, in and output parameter right so here here fails 
go to parameters this is my parameter file parameter and here employee id comparing with employee id so complete ID. validate it's validated okay this man in this way we have to assign configure that max employee id and that's it Save auto map smart map save let's see don't run it created right mapping was created now create a mapping task for this create a mapping task task go to mapping task desktop next select a mapping So now we have to select right select the mapping what is the mapping m employees incremental this one let's see next on success warning max initial value is 0 scd and parameter okay let's go no need to do anything just finish mapping task with the same name already mapping task with same name okay incremental loading next finish save see empty employees incremental loading let's run initially there is no records in my target let's run running everything okay right okay that's it nothing much very easy success succeeded see six records inserted Initial run on initial run six runs six records inserted. Go to see then what is the mag uh, parameter max value? What it will take? 
go to edit see parameter value value is 6 if any 6 greater than um, this value if any record is there it will again it's insert into the uh, insert into the table if uh, less than this number that record will not enter into staging table or a target table so the next record will be uh, will be 7 and all like that this can comp compares with this value 6 value let's see how many records are there Six records let's add uh, one more record to a source file click on seven some name iot function controller save record added and record added let's see how it will one record only in source seven records are there now seven records one record added inserted so here how many records need to enter all it six are six there one more record need to add to this record right not uh, after running after running the session mapping task uh, actually what will happen away again these seven records uh, will enter into load load into this target table but in incremental loading what is the new record what is the extra record is there uh, newly entered record into the source table that record only need to enter into the target table right so that is the logic of incremental loading so let's see Let's run the session again. It should be only one record. One row should be process. Or else our logic will wrong. See, one one record only processed. One record only processed. Even though in the value will be seven even though how many records are there seven records are there in source file but the newly entered record only inserted that is the beauty of incremental loading right if you add any two three records for suppose if you add three four records 10 9 any some Two records inserted extra two records inserted let's run again only two records only only two records only enter will enter into target that is the beauty of incremental loading see two records successfully loaded this is target table right m plus src so uh, sorry a source in source 10 records there but previously 7 records there sorry 9 10 9 10 right okay so in two more records we'll add see and what is the what is the mapping variable maximum value 10 because 10 is the employee id of 10 is the maximum employee id see 10 is the maximum employee id in this way in this way we will we will implement incremental loading in iacs also uh, just practice i will provide uh, provide the files in the video description uh, table and the records just practice how i practiced here just uh, compare with informatica power center related also thank you thank you so much let's meet in next session